What is the biggest it's one banana, what can it cost, ten dollars? Moment you've witnessed in real life, a customer called me about a mistake on their bill, they thought I forgot to add another zero. I was friends with a girl whose family was rich, and she said stuff like that constantly. Personally I like when she said I'm going to my dorm this weekend, I think what I've been looking for is there. She has her own apartment. Her parents pay for a dorm for her for extra storage. She has a roommate and everything. Her roommate lives with all her junk. Edit, she wasn't a freshman, it wasn't a regulation thing. She just had that much crap. I worked for one family as the general family personal assistant for a long time. These people are wealthy. Look drop one million dollars in cash on an oceanfront condo wealthy. The husband gave me one hundred and fifty dollars cash to go to the grocery store to buy a twelve pack of water and six dollar one yogurts. I don't think he's even stepped foot in a grocery store before. My sister and I, both Latin American, befriended a Chinese girl in college. We always helped her in studying and with her English. Turns out her dad was some billionaire in China who owned a chemical producing company. She drove an expensive Audi and for the longest, up until two years ago, I was freeloading off the Chegg account she opened up for me. That account was paid for about three years. Whenever she's invite us to go eat, the bills were super expensive, like dollar 300 plus for just three people, but she played it off like they were nothing. I had never once eating a single meal over $40 per plate until we ate with her. She'd always take us Starbucks, food and on a couple occasions bought us books for school. At one point we went shopping with her. She wanted a laptop. She was gonna buy me one too but I felt too guilty to accept it. Laptop was $3000, some Apple laptop, I felt like it was too much. She was really cool and treated my sister like her sister. She was living alone and didn't know many people. We were always friendly with classmates and that's how she got to know us. My sister and I are from low income families. The money that was spent around her was ridiculous. Like dollar three hundred dollar four hundred plus per lunch almost every day. That was around my weekly pay back then. Really miss her though. She was funny to be around with and always wanted to learn more about the U.S. Always insisted we go out with her to movies, shopping or dining, and teach her about our culture. I've not heard from her in three years. She went back to China and we never saw her on campus again. There was an obscenely rich kid that I went to high school with. At lunch one day, he thought his friend's peanut butter and jelly sandwich looked good so he offered him $20 for it. For the rest of the school year, the friend brought two sandwiches to lunch every day and gave the rich kid one for $20. I was flying a private jet and the caterers forgot the owner's sandwich. He graciously said no big deal and I replied that I'd call when we landed because they charged us $100 for it. He said is that a lot? How much does a sandwich normally cost? It's not cost wise. But in college my best friend and her dad had to take Metro North out of NYC to Westchester. We were in Grand Central and he asked her to get the tickets, whatever first class tickets they had. There are no first class tickets for Metro North, they're all the same. A friend of mine was dating a super wealthy girl in college. Not sure how they got together, it was some internship thing or something. He grew up pretty poor. And he told me a story about how they were at Walmart and he was considering buying a pair of flip flops. But they were like $10 and he wasn't so sure it was something he could afford at the time. Apparently she said to him what do you mean, you don't know if you should get them? Whenever I want new clothes, I just ask my daddy for the money card. Dot. She literally used the phrase the money card, as if it was some weird artifact that magically made all clothes free for her, which, I guess it kinda did. He also told me she felt the need to take a full shower every time she pooped, which, I mean, that's a different thing, but still funny. ITT, people not understanding the question. It's not, what is something that was outrageously overpriced, it's what was a time that somebody grossly overestimated the cost of an item. Lucille Bluth did not actually buy a banana for $10, she thought that a banana would cost $10 because she was completely out of touch with the prices of basic things. My wife's mom paid me $100 to cut her grass and her yard is small. If your rent is too expensive, just buy a house my baby boomer father. 
My dad, who is very wealthy and very stingy, once offered to get me out of a tough situation financially. I didn't have a car and was really struggling to make ends meet. I was telling him about what was going on in my life, and he opens up his wallet and hands me all of its contents. It was $7. He kept saying how he'll give me everything he has, and hands me the $7. He felt really proud doing it too. When we were told the international tuition fees for a PhD were $30,000 and my mom said, well that's not that much money. She also occasionally complains about how they're living in poverty, while also taking yearly trips to Europe. On the other hand, they can be quite generous with their time and support, so they can get away with the occasional tone deaf comment. My parents thinking they just pay for university without knowing the price. A politician in my country made headlines for thinking that a cup of coffee costs 80 cents, in a coffee shop. I told my parents they were rich. My mom has worked a six-figure job for 30 plus years, and my dad worked one for 20 plus. They have two houses, two cars, nice ones, go on yearly vacations to the tropics on top of other stuff, paid for my sisters and my university slash college out of pocket, I could go on. My dad said he wasn't rich. My parents on entry-level job requirements. It's an entry-level job. Yeah. But you need experience doing the job to get the entry-level job. Even if it's advertised as no experience required. I love mangoes. My husband grew up where you can just pluck a mango off a tree, and they cost basically nothing. I grew up where mangoes had to be imported and cost like $5 a fruit. He couldn't understand why mangoes were a treat for me, and not something I could afford to eat often. This is sort of an opposite comment. I work at a big software company with some fairly well-heeled individuals. One night I was out drinking with a group of people and was ready to leave, there's a girl there whose father is on the board, she's super cool but also has unimaginable wealth. She was leaving at the same time so I offered to walk her home since she lived in the city and I had to catch an Uber out of the city. We walked for a bit and she asked me why I was so into waking if I was going to get an Uber anyways. I told I told her I was walking out of the surge pricing zone. Look on her face. It was like I had introduced her to a concept that she could not fathom. Somebody told me about a guy bragging about spending $100 on a bottle of wine and she told me everyone knows good wine is $100 a glass, not a bottle. Dot. Odd example as the people involved aren't really rich. Of course, they're older. If you can't get, job. Just work in McDonald's and work your way up, you can easily live off of that. The same people also think you can get a job in my field by just walking in and asking for it. You're just lazy. I could get that job without job. Probably the time I went I can't go to Macca's, I don't have $20 on me. I live in Norway but at the time I was visiting some relatives in Australia and I completely forgot that McDonald's in Norway is stupidly expensive compared to McDonald's everywhere else. Ping or 20 slash knock 100 slash used 18 for a burger, yeah, I'm not even talking about with drinks or chips, is normal in Norway but even in Australia that's kinda ridiculous. My pops, grandfather, handled all the finances for him and my nana, grandmother, so she never did the shopping or paid any bills. Her net worth now as a widow isn't shy of one million pounds. When pops died, she bought herself a brand new car that was tailored to her disabilities, because again, pops always did the driving. Her car was around 16,000 pounds. This was her first experience of buying a vehicle and thus thought this was the standard price for any car. I bought myself a new car a few months later. It was the same model as hers but a few years older and had previous owners. All my other cars had come in under £600, and this new car was £5,000 and I took it out on finance, which was a huge deal for me. When she asked how much my car was, she was terrified that I'd bought a run-down POS car, and that there must be something horrendously wrong with it. We had to explain the value of cars to her and why mine was £10,000 less than hers. Flash forward to this year, my broke AF brother's death trap car pretty much exploded, so she took him to buy a new one. He'd seen a pretty good car for just under £1,000 and figured that's what he could afford to pay back. Before he mentions it, 
she drags him to the dealership and buys an approved used car, same model and year as mine, at £3,000 and can't believe her luck at how cheap it was, and gifts it to him because it was so cheap. Brother is speechless and very grateful. This is the same woman who had an absolute meltdown because her ambrosia custard pots had risen in price by 20p and she was now, very seriously, concerned that her continued purchase of them would bankrupt her. Anything wedding related and it goes in either direction, underestimating or overestimating. Even people who had a wedding are guilty of this because the cost has changed since they got married. My dad thought that open bar should cost a maximum of $10 per person because that's what he paid when he got married whereas a co-worker once told me her niece's wedding decor only cost 15 k drove my Passat through a flooded road because everybody in front of me was as well. Engine dies thought it through a rod. Best friend with the multi-million dollar trust fund says well it was time for you to get a new car anyways. Edit, probably missed the point of the question, but fuck it, I typed it out so it stays. Underscore. We were a group of six and wanted to go for a swim, so we set out for a nearby beach. We found a place where there's a thin strip of land, around 100 meters wide with the sea on either side. The beach on the left side was free. You could set up your own umbrella, chairs, etc., but space was limited, cause, well, it was free and lots of people went there. The beach on the right was closed and organized and you could rent umbrellas for a price. It looked like more of a posh place, but we didn't think too much of it. We looked around for a bit on the free side, but we couldn't find a good enough spot to comfortably fit six people, so we crossed over and went to the organized beach. I approached the cashier and asked for the price thinking how much can an umbrella with two sunbeds be? 15 euros. The cashier tells me it's 30 euros. I look back at my friends and tell them the price which was a bit steep, but we were tired and wanted to go for a swim, so we decide to get two umbrellas, one per three people. I tell the cashier we'll take two, but then she put on her most professional and at the same time condescending look and told me, Sir, you misunderstood. The entrance fee is 30 euros per person. Dot. We burst out laughing, crossed back over to the free side and shoved ourselves between two families with toddlers. It was a fun day. I got a new job slightly above minimum wage and my girlfriend's dad got excited for me and told me I could afford a new Tesla now. Spoiler, I cannot. My parents make six figures a year working, but my dad refuses to turn on the air conditioning for both levels of his house, because he doesn't want to spend an extra five dollars a day. That's fine. However, he refuses to lower the thermostat beyond 76 to 78 degrees on the floor level. However, he's perfectly fine with eating out once or twice a week at about 90 dollars a meal. A colleague of mine had gotten a new apartment and the son of our boss asks how high the deposit was. She tells him, it's 932 euros. He's like, count yourself lucky, normally a deposit is three times the monthly rent. So she goes, that is three times the monthly rent. Smile. I had a friend who was junior at an architectural firm. Her company was spending lots of money daily on airline tickets to shuttle employees around the Midwest. She had the idea that she could save her company money by chartering a smaller airplane that sat 10 to 12 people instead of buying airline tickets. She wanted the plane for several months. So I put her in touch with a friend who broke his airplane charters. He called me back laughing. People don't realize how incredibly expensive aviation is and she was floored when he came back with a quote that was several hundred thousand per month more. I like the arrested development reference, and that alone deserves a $20 banana. Back in the day, I needed some change so I could use a pay phone. So I went into a clothing store to ask if they could break a five. They said I had to buy something in order to make change so I asked what the cheapest thing they had. I got pointed to a singular shoelace hanging off a peg. I thought okay can't be that expensive. Twelve dollars. Oh oh. And it was buy this shoelace or be willing to walk about a half mile to the closest other store. I chose to walk. My buddy asked me to bring simple syrup to his party for making drinks. I was thinking it was going to be six or seven bucks. It was less than two dollars. 
My grandparents are snowbirds. When they come home from the south, we go do groceries to fill their fridge back up. At the end of last winter, we went to the store and my grandfather wanted a pineapple, 99 cents in the south, but refused to pay 7.50 for one at home.